in case you missed this play, it looks like the ghost of Paul George put a little fear in Donovan Mitchell and the Utah Jazz. You'll see what I mean in a second here. Paul George makes his return. First game since December. As the Clippers were hosting Utah, the Jazz are going to get out to a big-time lead, a rematch here, a second-round matchup in last year's postseason. Donovan Mitchell and company would get up by 20-plus points. PG and the Clippers would do what they do best, fight back. George with the three George inside the Hardenstein. We got a close one all of a sudden with two minutes to go. Reigning sixth man of the year, Jordan Clarkson, puts the Jazz back up a point after they blew that big-time lead. Of the end is Luke Kennard burying the three-pointer and putting the Clippers back up a deuce. Could Utah respond? They go back to Clarkson. This time around, it's no good. Jazz are forced to foul with 17 seconds to go. Clippers make some free throws. Jazz got to go quickly down four. Check this out. Typical play. Ball goes out of bounds off PG. Look at it one more again. I want to set you up really, really nice here. As Donovan Mitchell goes to inbound the basketball, check the bottom right corner. Utah's got no timeouts. It gets to around three seconds, and Mitchell is screaming to the ref, timeout, timeout, timeout. But like I said, the Jazz don't have any timeouts. Oh, no, he didn't Chris Webber this thing. And it's so unfortunate because the ref tried his best to ignore Donovan a couple times. Like, I'm trying not to say you don't have any timeouts. If I call you for this violation, you know for a fact your team's going to lose this game. That's automatically free throws on the other end. Check it out one more again. I mean, the ref was doing all he could to say, Donovan, no, no, no. You actually kind of see D. Mitch get mad at the ref for not acknowledging his timeout when, for all intents and purposes, the ref was trying to do Donovan Mitchell and the Utah Jazz a solid. Unfortunately, due to that violation, Utah was unable to rebound. Ref had to do what he had to do. Technical free throws the other way. The Clippers complete their comeback with just a tad bit of help from the Utah Jazz. 121-115 is your final.